everyone, I hope you're doing well and staying safe. In this video, I'm going to go over the workouts portion of this project, and we're going to begin by starting with the CRUD, the Create aspect of the CRUD operations. So to get started, I'm going to go to my project folder, and I'm going to open this. As you can see, uh, where we left off, it was using the fetch to get the API. Um, and now we are going to uh, move on to the workout. So before I begin, I need to first change directory into my folder. So I'll go cd, and then type in my workout app 2, because that's the name of my project. Then I'm going to type ls to verify I'm in the project folder. And as you can see, all of this lines up with all of this. So now that I'm in here, I'm going to first create, uh, rather install a module that is needed for this portion. So in my terminal, I'm going to type npm install, then it's going to be react-date, uh, react-native-date-picker, space, dash, dash, um, dash, dash, save. So now that I have this set up, I'm going to first run my emulator and then we can begin making the three screens. So I'm going to type in react-native run-android. So here's our app loading up. And now we have our welcome screen. So it says welcome David Rice, and then this is a new uh, quote, this being fetched from the API. But now we're going to be working on the workout portion. So if you click on our workout, here it just says workout.js. So to start off, actually, because we want to create multiple screens for the workout, create, retrieve, update, delete, we're going to have to create a separate folder. So inside of my home stack, I'm going to right click and select new folder. And here I'm going to call it workout stack and then inside of my workout stack what I'm going to do is take my workout folder file rather and put it inside my workout stack so I'm going to move that here and if we go to remain uh, it should have updated the import of the workout so now it's uh, no so we'll have to fix this too so um, yeah so let's actually do that now so inside of remain Instead of saying for slash home stack, I need to do one more for slash and say workout stack. So that is now updated. And so if we, yeah, so if we refresh this, refresh this, two, three, and then come to our workout stack see now it is loaded. So instead of our workout stack what we're going to do is create a uh, another screen and this screen is going to be called create workout so I'm going to create right click on workout stack folder and left click on file and say uh, create workout dot js so inside of here um, we can close the stats and profile and login because we don't need that anymore. Since I have my workout, create workout, I'm going to do what I typically do with all the other ones, and that is do import react from, and then type in react. Then I'm going to do import. Then for here, I'm just going to type in text from react-native then what we want to do is create oh text and style sheet style sheet from react native then what we want to do is create our screen so let's say const uh, create workout and then it's going to be 
an arrow, uh, an arrow function, we'll say return, and put here text, inside of this text, what we're going to do is type uh, create workout.js. Down here we're going to say export default, then create workout, and then on the bottom I'm just going to put my style sheets, I'll say const styles is equal to stylesheet.create. So then if I go to my main in here, uh, because there would be more than one screen, I have to create another component. So underneath my home tabs, what I'm going to do is create a workout stack navigator. So I'm going to say const workout stack is equal to create stack navigator. And then I'm going to say const workout stack screen. And this is going to be an arrow function. And then in here I'm going to return. And then I'm going to uh, first put the workout stack. So I'll say workout stack dot navigator. And then I'm going to have my header mode equal to none because I do not want to have any headers being shown for each screen. And then in I'm create the two screens now. So I'm going to say workout stack dot screen. Name is going to be equal to I'm going to type let's workout. And the component is going to be equal to workout. And this self-enclosed tag. The next one I'm going to do is create a workout screen again. So a workout stack dot screen. The name is going to be equal to create workout. And then the component is going to be equal to. And then I'm just going to say create workout. And as you can see, you can auto import it from here. Uh, so then if you come up, uh, let me do a self-enclosed tag, so if I come up here, there should be a import create workout and it automatically imported, but because I want to keep things together, what I'm going to do is um, put this above my auth context, like so. And then I'm going to add the comment here, um, auth stack, home stack, and then I'll just put here, slash screen, and then this will be workout stack. So now that we have that taken care of in my home tabs, I'm not going to return the workout component anymore. What I'm going to do is return the workout stack navigator. So I'm going to say workout stack screen, because that is what we called our new navigator. So if I save this, come over here, refresh. If you go to our workout, see, you now have the workout here. So to begin, I'm going to first create a button that will go from the let's workout component to the create workout. So in order to do that, I'm going to come inside of my workout here, and I'm going to import React and then use effect because I want to also create a database for this. Then what I'm going to do is uh, get rid of the text because I'm not going to have any text on this screen. I'm going to say st um, in front of the style sheet, I'll put button. Then I want to have a view, safe area view, and then that is it. And then 
what I want to do is use a database obviously so I'll say import open data base from and then react native sqlite storage that gives me the sqlite capability to access our database so then what I want to do is first um, right here create two functions to um, make sure that the database opens successfully if not it will give an error so I'll say let error cb is equal to passing the variable error and then I'll have it return a console.log SQL error followed by the error then I'm going to say let success cb equal to and then we're not going to pass anything in here I'll say console.log opened workout db So now that we have that taken care of, I'm now going to create a variable to access the database. So I'll say let db equal open database. And here I'm going to say the name is equal to workout.db. And then if it is successful, I'll pass success db. Otherwise, I'll pass error db. Now that that is taken care of in here for my workout, I want to in, uh, pass in the variable navigation. So I have to open close braces and type in navigation. Because we're going to be navigating from the workout to the create, we need to have the navigation function passed in. And then for this, what I want to do is instantiate the database so they can be accessed in order to do that what I'm going to do is say use effect and then I'm going to pass in here db dot transaction this can be a function and I'm going to pass transaction inside of my database function I'm going to say let create um, SQL statement equal and then what I want to do is create a table for um, the cardio as well as strength so I'm going to say tilde key because I'm going to have multi-line uh, text so I'll say create table if not exists and call this table main underscore workout and have an open close parenthesis here then I'll say workout ID integer primary key auto increment not null and I'll have a workout underscore date because I want to pass in the date which we're going to choose. And I'll say var char and I'll have the date b20, not null, not null. And then I want to have an ID for both the cardio and the strength. So I'll say cardio ID var char 20. Then I'll say strength underscore id var char 20 then I'll say user underscore token because I want to pass in a user token to make this unique per user and I'll say var char 255 not null and then let me come back here and make this nice and neat 
So that is our SQL statement. So then I'll say transaction. And then in here I'll say dot execute SQL. And here I'm going to pass in the um, the selection from the database. So I'll say select a name from SQLite underscore master where type is equal to single quotes table and name is equal to single quotes main underscore workout because that's the name of our table that we've made for the workout. Then I'll make a comma right here and then I'll put a notebook closed array because I'm not passing in anything. Then I'll have a function passed in, so I'll say function transaction results. Inside of this function, what I'm going to do is say if results dot rows dot length is equal to zero, then I am going to have a transaction dot execute SQL drop actually here let me use single quotes drop table if exists and then main workout and then I'm going to uh, have an open close array as before because I'm not passing in anything I'm going to say otherwise transaction dot execute SQL then I'll have it do the create SQL statement. And again, open closed array. So now that that is complete, um, um, from here, what I need to do now then is create my two tables for the cardio and the strength. So I'll say db dot transaction. Then I'll have a function. Inside of here I'll pass transaction as a variable. Then I'll say let's create SQL statement. I know I'm reusing variables, but because they're in different transactions, it's okay. It's not going to overwrite. So um, for this, I'm going to use the tilde key again because I'll have multiple lines of um, string. So I'll say create table if not exists. And I'll say workout underscore cardio. Pass this in right like so. So I'll say cardio underscore ID is an integer pri primary key auto increment not null and then I'm going to say workout date is var char and then I'm going to put 255 not null say cardio muscle group bar char ah my bad var char 255 say not null and then I'm going to say cardio underscore muscle because I want to have the um to have the muscle say var char five not null then I have the duration so I'll say cardio underscore duration it's an integer because duration is an integer and I'll put this as 20 not null then I'll say the duration type so cardio underscore duration underscore type this is also going to be in a um, String, so I'll say var char 255 uh, not null. 
And then after the duration, I'm going to do the resistance. So cardio underscore resistance with an A resistance. And I'll say integer 20 not null. Then I'll do the resistance type cardio resistance type. This is a R char. Ah, R char t55 not null. Then I'm going to do the distance. So cardio underscore distance. This is going to be integer 20 not null. And then the distance type. So cardio distance type var char t55 not null. And then I'm going to have the amount of calories that they burned. So I'll say cardio underscore calorie calories underscore burned. This is going to be an integer. And then of 10, because I don't think most people can burn more than 10 digit uh, calories. So I'll say not null. And then I'm going to put the heart rate. So I'll say cardio underscore heart underscore rate. And integer of 4, because I don't think a human being can have past 4 integer heartbeat without dying. Uh, so I'll say not null. And then the uh, next one is the heart rate type. So I'll say cardio underscore heart rate type. And then I will put a bar char of 255, not null. And then I'm going to have a user token here. Say var char 255, not null. And then what I'm going to have is a connection between the main table and the uh, regular cardio because I want to join the tables together so I'll say main underscore to underscore cardio bar char 255 not null and then I'm just going to delete all of that extra space and bring the close tag here close in parentheses here then after this, what I'm going to do is say transaction dot execute SQL inside of here. I'm going to say select name from SQLite underscore master, where type is equal to single quotes table. And then I'm going to say and name is equal to single quotes work out underscore cardio because this is the cardio table that we're making. Then I'm going to pass in an empty array because so I'm not returning anything. Then I'll have a function that will say transaction and results. Inside of here, I'll say if the results dot rows dot length is equal to zero, I am going to have a transaction dot execute SQL. I would say drop table if exists. Work out underscore cardio, and then I'm gonna pass in an empty array. And then I'm going to do a transaction dot execute SQL. And here I'm just do create SQL statement. And then I'm going to pass in an empty array. And then that will be it for this. And then now I have to create a table for the strength. So after here, I'm going to put a db dot transaction. And here is going to be a function of transaction as a variable passed in. Then I'm going to say let's create SQL statement equal 
like before the tilde key because I'm going to create a multi line string. So I'll say create table if not exists. Then I'll say work out strength. Pass in open close parentheses. So I'll say strength underscore id integer primary key auto increment not null. Then I'll pass in the workout date as a var char, and then it's going to be 20. One second. Workout date is 20 here. So actually, for the um, workout cardio, it should be a workout date of 20, not 255. I apologize. So in your workout cardio, make sure it's 20, not 20, 255. Otherwise, that would be bad for the um, database. So we'll say varchar 20, not null. Then we'll say strength muscle group varchar 20, not null. Say, actually, we'll put 255. And I'll say the strength underscore muscle is going to be bar char 255. I not know. Then we are going to have the duration. So I'll say strength underscore duration integer and then. 20 not null then we'll have the duration type so strength duration type this will be var char of t55 not null and then we're going to have the re repetition so the um, actually we're going to have the uh, because when people work out, they have to sets and reps. So we'll say four sets of how many reps. So in here, I'm going to put the strength resistance. And say integer as 10, not null. And we'll have the resistance type. So strength resistance type. And this is going to be a varchar of 255 not null and then we do the reps so say strength repetitions and then for the repetitions um, I am going to put in type as integer of 20 not, not null and then I'm going to put the repetition type so and I actually say repetition. So strength underscore repetition underscore type e var char of 255 not null. And then I'm going to put the calories burned. So I'll say strength underscore calorie calories underscore burns. This is going to be an integer of 10, not null, and then we're going to have a heart rate, so say strength heart rate, integer of 10, not null, and then we're going to have the strength heart rate type, and this will be var char of 255, not null. Then we're going to have the user token because I want to make this unique per user. So user token var char and then put t55. Ordinarily, this stuff would mainly be on the web, but because I'm assuming this can be offline, that's why I'm putting this information on here. So I'll say not null, and then I'm going to say main to strength. And I'll say var char t55 not null. Then I'm just going to close.
close this off like so then after here I'm going to put say transaction.execute sql and here I'll say select name from sqlite underscore master where type is equal to single quotes table and the name is equal to single let quotes workout underscore strength then I'm going to pass in an empty array and I'll say function transaction results after the comma of course then I'm going to say if the results dot rows dot length is equal to zero I'm going to put a transaction dot execute sql drop table if exists and say workout underscore strength open close the array because I'm not passing in anything and I'll say transaction dot execute sql and I'm going to execute the previous statement so I'll say create sql statement then I'm going to pass in an empty array because I'm not returning it because I'm not inputting anything and after that is done um, we can now go to our return statement so what this is basically doing, um, we're just creating our two tables to, for the cardio and for the workout. Uh, most of the names are self-explanatory. We have the muscle groups that we want to hit, and then what we want to hit are the specific muscle. And we're going to have the duration, how long did they do it for, how heavy was their resistance, if they're doing distance, but where's their distance as well for cardio, uh, the amount of calories burned, their heart rate, the unique identifier and then this is going to be used for joining tables together same thing for this it's for their strength it's just the same thing the dates all of that only uh, instead of the duration we're doing the repetition or yeah we're doing the resistance and repetition as well so now if we go to our return statement here what I want to do is get rid of workout.js and inside of here I'm going to have a safe area view inside of my safe area view I'm going to have a view that will hold the navigational buttons and then I'll have a, another view inside of that for each um, for the buttons themselves and then I'm inside of here I'll have one more for the button to navigate to so in this case I'm going to say view and then I'm going to put a button here the color is going to be equal to purple purple then the title is going to equal create workout the on press is going to be equal to this and what we want to do is have it nav navigate uh, navigation dot navigate to and then the name of our workout here so we called it create workout so in here what we need to do is navigate to the same name so say create workout and then this is a self-enclosed tag save this now if we come here go to our workout screen you can see that we have create workout if I click on create workout see how it says create workout right here but I don't have any back button or anything like that obviously you have the Android here but uh, this is all going to be user based so um, to make the um, make the uh, to access the previous screen and all that what I want to do is create a um, style this up a little bit but and also create a back button for my create workout 
So in my create workout, let me come here, and what I'm going to do is um, import React and then import use state because I want to pass in some parameters uh, to set for my variables. So then I'm going to import from here the text style sheet and I'll say button view and safe area view. And then inside of here, what I want to do is first and foremost pass in navigation, navigation, so that I can navigate back to where I want to go. Um, so then what I want to do is in here, just gonna set up a basic um, return button. So I'll say, uh, first I'm just going to create the return button, so I'll say safe area view. Inside of here, I'm going to put another view for my content. And then inside of that, what I want to do is put a view for my button container. And then what I'm going to do is have a button Um, a separate view for each button and then for this button it's just going to be the back button so I'll say button the title is equal to back the color is equal to purple because I'm going with the color scheme on press is going to be equal to this and then it's going to come here create an uh, arrow function to navigation dot go back open close parentheses self enclosed tag save this so now I have a back button it takes me back to my workout screen so before I begin working my create workout what I want to do is finish on the workout itself um, add some styling to it so I'm going to come in here and say container inside of my container I'll say the height is 100% the width is 100% and then the background color is going to be pink save this refresh it's not going to be attached to anything of course because I haven't added it yet so for my main container, that's going to be for this view right here. So I'll say style is equal to styles dot container. And now if we come here, you can see that we have my pink background with my purple. Then under the container, I'm going to have a main area to hold the container for the button. So I'll say main area, the margin top is 125. The, I'm going to align self to be center. I'm going to have a height of 350 and a width of 350 as well. The background color is going to be white. The justified content is going to be center. And then I'm going to also align the items to be center as well and have a border radius of 10. And then for my main area, I'm gonna have it right here. It's my main area, so I'll say style is equal to um, styles dot main area, save this. And as you can see, I have my um, main area here with my stuff at center. Um, so now I have my main area. What I want to do is have a container for the buttons themselves. Um, but in order to do this, I need to add another view. So I'll say uh, view 
inside of here and actually put this underneath this button right here. So for this view, what I'm going to do is come down here and then put my um, a call this button container have a margin top of 50 then I'm going to create a view for every button so I'll say button view and then in here I'm going to say the width is equal to 300 the height is just going to be 20 the margin bottom is going to be 60 and then the border radius is going to be 10 and then I'm going to say for the button style button style I'm going to say the color is going to be orange so if I come up here forget the button style. Um, so yes, so in here I'm going to have this as my button container, so I'll say style is equal to styles dot button container. Save this. Refresh. And then for here I'll say style is equal to styles dot button views so you can see it says so if we click on here now it goes and we can go back um, we're going to be adding more buttons so I'll have a create retrieve update delete but this kind of gives you a basic overview for all of that. Um, yeah, so now if we go to our create workout, it right now just has the back button, but now what we want to do is actually implement the necessary um, information to create our workout. To do that, what I need to do is come up here and say import, and it's going to be date picker from and I'll say react dash native dash date picker that we imported earlier. Then I'm going to have a variable that will set the date. So I'll say let date set date equal use state. And then it's going to be new date. And then I'm going to uh, um, have a um, so then from here after creating the new date what I'm going to do because of the way that the date is implemented I have to split it up so what I'm going to do is say let temp and create a temp and then have the variable dates dot to string and I'm going to split it on a space and I'm going to say let new date equal to an empty string let me just put, and then I'll say for let i is equal to zero, i is less than four, i plus plus. Inside of here, I'll say if i is equal to three, let me add a space right here. I'll say new date 
is equal to new date plus temp i. I'll s then I'll click else. Let's say new date is equal to new date plus temp sub i plus, and then I'm going to put in here a um, dash. So this is going to use put the string and then put it as a new date reformatting it into a readable um, string value. So then now if we come to our return statement here, um, actually first let's take a look at this. So right now we just have our button here, right? So if we go to our, um, if we go to our, um, we want to implement the date picker. So what we want to do is go from the um, safe area view into our um, view for the picker itself. So we have to create a new view. So we have to create a new view for that. So I'll say view, and then inside of here, I'm going to put a another view for the text. And then inside of here, I'm going to put text, and then my text is going to say choose the dates, then select the workout. And then under here, I'm going to put dates picker. I have the date equal to dates, which is the value that we have. I'll say on date change, say set dates. And I have the mode equal to dates. And then I'll we'll have a self enclosed tag. here and so we have our picker here with the text choose a date and select the workout and as you can see you can go up to these various dates and all that so um, before I continue on what I want to do is actually create a style uh, style this out a bit so it looks a bit more nice and tidy so in my styles down here I'm gonna have a variable for the main content so I'll say main content then I'll say align content center align items center the background color is going to be pink the height is going to be 100 percent the width is going to be 100 percent and i'm going to justify the content center And then the main content is going to be the first view. So I'll say style is equal to styles dot main content. So as you can see, we have this right here, like so. Then what I want to do next is um, style the picker view. So what I'm going to do is create a new um, style for that. I'll say picker text view. Let's say the height is going to be 50, the width is going to be 300, and then the background color is going to be salmon, and then the border radius is going to be 10. So then if I come up here to where I have my text, so this style is equal to styles dot picker text view. And then um <coughs> then I'll have it for the picker text 
itself. So I will come down here and say picker text inside of here I'm going to have a font family of Arial. I'm going to say font size of 20. The font weight is going to be bold. The text line is going to be center. And I'm going to have a margin bottom of 2. I'm going to have the color be white. So then if I uh, So if I come up here to where my text is, right here, I'll say style is equal to styles.picker text. So as you can see, it's like so. And then I'm going to have the styling now for the picker view. So I'll say uh, picker. view. Instead of here, I'll have a height of 250, width of 350, background color of white, align content center, align items also center, and then I want to have justify the content to be a center too. And if I come up here to the picker view, style is equal to styles dot picker view. So I can see it now looks like this. And then if we now come down here, what we want is to do the button style as well. So say button container, I'll say margin top is going to be 20, the height is going to be 210, the width is going to be 275, the background color is going to be white, the align self will be center, in addition to align items will also be center. I'm going to have a border radius of 10. So inside of here, I actually need to create a separate, another view. So I'm going to create a view. And then inside of this view right here, I'll say style is equal to style stop button container. And then actually I can get rid of this view right here. for the view itself so I'll come down here and then I'll create a button view for say button view say margin top is going to be 25 and then I'll have a width of 200 and I'll apply it to my button here style is equal to styles dot button view. So in the next video what I'm going to do is uh, implement the cardio and then have a video for the strength and we can tie that all together for the final one. But until then um, I hope you guys enjoy and um, actually before we leave what we need to do is update our git. So close this out. Um, wait for this to close and so now what I'm going to do is um, just go to the git commands 
I have these memorized by now, but I still bring them up for you all in case you um, need to see them. So first I'm going to say git add star. Then you can see that you have these warnings. Ignore the warnings, they're fine. So I'll say git commit dash m. And then in here I'm going to say um, updated. Uh, actually, I'll say create created workout um, setup. I guess you could call it that. Then I'm going to say git push dash dash set dash u origin master so now that everything's set up what we can do is um uh, you know go to this link right here it loads, go to our master, and then you can see there was updated a minute ago. Now we have our off stack, home stack, and here we have our workout stack now, and we have our create workout. So, yep, so in the next video I'll go over implementing the actual cardio and the strength because it's going to take a <laughs> bit of time to do. So, and, and Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, and until then, um, stay safe.